Hello, I am Kim Newland from Sutter Health and PCNA, and I'd like to welcome you to today's topic, the link between PAD and CAD. Peripheral arterial disease, or PAD, is the term used to describe atherosclerosis in the extremities, and it's believed to be present in about 20% of individuals over the age of 60. PAD most commonly affects the lower extremities, and it can range in severity from asymptomatic drop in ankle pressures to life and limb threatening diseases. Many patients may mistake the symptoms of PAD for something else, and therefore it often goes undiagnosed by healthcare professionals. The risk factors for PAD include diabetes, hypertension, hypercholesterolemia, a family history of PAD or CVD, and especially smoking. It is important for nurses and advanced practice providers to assess patients for PAD when one or more of these risk factors is present. While untreated PAD may lead to gangrene or even amputation, individuals with PAD are at higher risk for coronary artery disease, heart attacks, and strokes. The link between PAD and CVD is significant. Just 1-2% to of individuals with symptomatic PAD will progress to limb loss, but 75% of those individuals will die from a major cardiovascular event. Managing CVD risk factors in patients with PAD is important to prevent these major cardiovascular events. Healthy lifestyle and medications are used to treat the cardiovascular risk factors. Patients should be counseled on quitting smoking, following a heart-healthy diet, and getting regular physical activity. Use accepted behavior change theories, such as goal setting, regular follow-up, feedback, and relapse prevention. Medications used to treat cardiovascular risk factors in patients with PAD include aspirin or other antiplatelet agents, as well as a statin. Treat blood pressure and blood glucose to accepted goals using guideline recommended therapies. It is important to frequently reassess cardiovascular risk factors and assure compliance with lifestyle recommendations and prescribed medications. Regular follow-up with lab monitoring and feedback on cardiovascular health help patients stay motivated and stay on track. Because of the link between PAD and CVD, patients must be mindful of the signs and symptoms of myocardial ischemia or angina, what and when to tell their healthcare providers, and when to call 911. Be sure to include this in your patient education and make sure you include patient family members and caregivers. For other topics in this series, additional information, or more resources, please visit our website at pcna.net backslash PAD. Thank you for joining us.